Hi, in this video discussion, you will learn mixing unit operation. The first part in which you will learn mixing of low and medium viscosity liquids in which the mixing element sets construction, working and application. These are the points are covered. During the preparation of the product, number of ingredients or the raw material must require to mix and then prepare the final product. The mixing is basic unit operation in which whatever the ingredients or the raw materials they are mixed and to prepare the number of the different products during the mixing unit operation which is allowed to heat and mass transfer and the prepared the final product you can see in this mixing unit operation main mixing element which is very important as per the ingredients their properties by using the mixing element which is the used to prepare the homogeneous mixed product and then after that they further processed what are the main advantage of the mixing in the food processing industry first prepare the homogeneous as per our requirement prepare the final product then prepare the ready to eat ready to cook and the prepare the whatever the requirement of the final product then uniform heat transfer during the preparation of the product which is allow heat and mass transfer number of chemical reactions which are occurred after the mixing of the ingredients and the heating cooling process then mixing improve the quality of the final product and we can prepare the number of product by the mixing and then further other unit operation how to select the correct type of the mixing element and the operations in which main parameters should require to consider the raw materials its initial viscosity the state of the material and its mixability of the raw materials these are the main three points should require to consider the raw material properties in which it the state of the material like its liquid semi solid or the solid material as per the state of the material the mixing in which the liquid liquid mixing that means mixing of the liquid ingredients in which low to medium viscosity mixings the second one is the solid solid mixing in which the solid ingredients in the form of the powders and the granules there the mixing is carried out the next third one is the liquid solid mixing process in which the addition of the solids into the liquids and the mixing is carried out and last one is the liquid gas mixing in which the liquid addition of the gases like the carbon dioxide carbonation systems etc multi phase mixing system in which the solid liquid and gases are combined different parameter that is the viscosity of the liquid as per the initial viscosity of the liquid substances or the ingredients the mixing element are so change you can see the viscosity that means which is the resistance to the deformation or the fluid resistance to the flow for the mixing of low viscosity liquid we required to apply the lower force and for the mixing of high viscosity liquid we required to apply the high force in which the basic unit of the viscosity that is in SI system pascal second one pascal second that is the 10 poise and uh, 10 poise that is the 1000 centipoise as per the viscosity of the liquid you can see low and medium viscosity liquid that is the viscosity is lower than 100 poise or 10000 centipoise and the high viscosity liquid is in which the viscosity is more than 100 poise or 10000 centipoise this is the low viscosity and this is the high viscosity liquids in which the mixing of food ingredients liquid with low viscosity have lower resistance and the shear easily and the molecules flow quickly that means low viscosity liquids required low external force and the mixing element also specially designed for the mixing of high viscosity liquids 
in which the resistance of the mixing element is high must require to apply the external force higher with special design of the mixing element and for the mixing of dry powders and the granules in which the as per the initial ingredients containing moisture percentage we can apply the different mixing element system for the effective mixing of low or medium viscosity liquids must require to produce more turbulent flow during the mixing which is achieved by the combination of two or more flow patterns and the uniform heat transfer which is effective to produce the uniform mixing during the operation you can see in this figure during the mixing unit operations the main flow patterns in which first a that is the longitudinal flow then second b that is the rotational flow and the third c that is the radial flow longitudinal or also called as axial flow longitudinal which is the a that is parallel to the shaft you can see this is the flow pattern in which the parallel to the shaft then second one is the rotational you can see the rotational in which rotational flow and third one is the rotational flow that means which is the circular path around the shaft and the radial velocity or the radial flow in which the perpendicular to the mixing shaft this is the flow pattern between the mixing element and the mixing wall is called as a radial and the, these are the main three flow patterns in which combination of more than two flow pattern to produce the effective mixing during the unit operation the mixing elements are classified into different way the simplest method of the classification is that on the basis of their viscosity and the properties the first would be in which the low or the medium viscosity liquids the second one is the high viscosity liquids and the paste like material and the third one is the mixing of dry ingredients these are the mixing elements which are the used as per the its viscosity and the property of the ingredients mixing of low or the medium type of the viscosity liquids in which the mixing tank you can see in this figure the mixing tank must require to some of the accessories in which first the initial mixing tank provided external jacket for the heating cooling purpose then second must require to internally provided baffles these are the baffles to prevent the formation of the vertex then shaft that is the mixing element shaft may be located at the center of center and the mixing element provided with the electrical motor gearbox and the fitting systems provided with the inlet and the outlet pipe these are the accessories connected with the mixing tank the efficiency of the mixing depends on the initial raw material its properties then amount of the substances to in order to achieve the degree of operations and the uh, amount of energy which is applied for the mixing operation the first proof in which mixing of low or medium type of the viscosity liquids you can see the main mixing element and its parameters this is the summary table of the paddle turbine and the propeller agitator in which the all parameters are covered first one is the paddle agitator paddle agitator are the suitable for mixing of low to medium type of the viscosity liquids in which the main that is the mixing element which is connected to the shaft and the paddle type of the mixing element which is the located at the center of the uh, mixing vessel you can see the blades which is attached to the rotating shaft and mostly located at the center of the mixing vessel the paddle type of the mixing elements are available number of the designs and the types in which the mixing element diameter that is the 50 to 80 percent of the tank diameter and the speed of the rotation between the 20 to 150 rpm required the number of the designs in which the you can see the first simplest design that is the flat paddle then second one is the gate type then third one is the anchor type and fourth one is the counter rotating paddle this is also similar this is the flat type 
then anchor gate anchor gate type then maybe anchor whipping type these are the number of the designs in which to produce more higher shearing force as per our initial raw material properties we can choose the correct type of the mixing element the second one is the mixing element that is the turbine agitator in this turbine agitator in which the mixing shaft which is connected with the four or more than four blade is called as the turbine agitator the number of the designs are available in which the turbine agitator which is the located at the center of the mixing vessel in which the mixing element the main diameter of the mixing element in the ratio of 30 to 50 percent of the tank diameter and the speed of the rotation between the 30 to 500 rpm and the most used for the mixing of low or medium type of the viscosity in which the main types that is the straight blade pitched blade curved type or disc disc flat disc with flat disc provided with the blades these are the main types then the turbine agitators these are also similar the main types in which the flat type then disc type these are the curved type these are also disc type disc with the blades these are also curved type with provided with the pitch this is also straight with the provided with the pitch these are the main different types in the turbine type in order to produce more shearing force the extra also external provided with the diffusing ring that means this is the central shaft then blades and the external provided with the diffusing ring diffusing ring is stationary stationary perforated ring which produce more shearing and the turbulence forces during the mixing operations the next third type that is the propeller agitator three blade marine propeller most used for the low viscosity liquids in which three blade marine propeller the main diameter of the propeller in the ratio of 15 to 30 percent of the tank diameter if the propeller is located at the center must refer to provide it with the internal baffles these are the baffles these are four baffles first second third and the fourth in order to prevent the vertex formation then the speed of the rotation 400 to 1500 rpm the different designs are available in which simplest type that is the open blade then pro perforated and maybe pro with the two third type the propeller is rotated maybe at the center off center maybe inclined in position what is the vertex um, formation during the mixing and how to prevent it during the mixing unit operations if the mixing element that is the turbine or propeller type which is fitted at the center of the mixing tank without baffle then resulting only rotational flow pattern is developed and resulting vertex is formed this vertex formation which is uh, affected on the mixing process in order to prevent this vertex formation there should be the two provision first by fitted with the baffles and if the internally baffles is fitted you can see the number of the baffles depending on the diameter of the tank minimum four baffles must required the baffles which prevent the only uh, produce the rotational flow pattern which is the disturbed rotational flow pattern to convert into the longitudinal and the radial type of the flow pattern and resulting prevent the vertex formation and second that is the unbaffled tank that means the mixing element fitted with the off center or maybe inclined type and to prevent the vertex formation these are the references used for the preparation of this powerpoint presentation thank you very much